This is Doug, we're always on board. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the layout of Premiere Pro CC so that you're not terrified by it. I'm gonna explain kind of, you know, what you're looking at so that you understand going into this that this is not as crazy as it seems. Um, so first of all, my Premiere Pro CC looks this way because I went to Window, Workspace, and I changed my layout to editing CS 5.5. I prefer that just because the timeline's much longer and I just like the way it looks. So if you guys would like to do that to follow along with how my layout is, go for it and uh, you know, let's get this started. So the first thing that you see is that everything's kind of blank and blacked out or grayed out and it says to import media on the timeline here and up at the top left here. And what you would need to do is double click over here um, where the project files are or you can hit command I as a shortcut or you can go up to file and down to import. So it's three different ways to bring footage into Premiere Pro. So let's double click right here and I'm gonna grab a few video clips of my buddy over here named Ryan. And I'm kinda, I'm gonna have these in here just because I wanna show you guys what it looks like when there's an actual file into the project. So once you import a file, there's gonna be, um, you know, both of them in, in over here in the top left corner and you can scrub through them and look at them before you actually put them into the timeline. Or if you know exactly what you're looking at, you can just bring it into the timeline and just edit them. But um, assuming that this is the first time you've ever opened Premiere, uh, I wanna show you that there's different ways uh, to do things and what you're looking at, like I said before. So let's say we're, we wanna use this clip, I'll double click it. When you double click a clip, what it does is it brings it over to this area right here, which allows you to do some fine tuning before you actually bring it to your timeline right here. Um, so if I want to, um, I can scrub through right here and say, okay, I like where it starts right here. And then I can just, you know, do some, some minor editing and then, you know, click that and then drag it into the timeline. So now the next thing that you would need to uh, understand here is that the timeline once, you know, once you bring something into the timeline, it makes a sequence and I can go uh, more into what a sequence is in the, uh, in a future video. Um, but once there's a video into the, uh, the timeline, there's now a sequence and uh, anything that you see in this top right corner over here is what you are seeing down here in your timeline. So anything on this video is just, you know, one of the files from that you have in your file window. So this right here does not mean that it's going to be in your video. So if you're focusing on this, um, you know, you should be focusing over here. So as of right now, we have this file um, into Premiere Pro and on my timeline. So if I was to export something, this clip right here, which is the only one in the timeline, would be the one that I export. So let's say we wanted to add this one. So I double click that. I'm like, okay, yeah, you know, this clip's pretty cool. Let's bring this in as well. So there's uh, a few different ways to actually bring the clip in. If, you're, if your slider ind indicator thing right here is at the very end of the first clip, um, you can just hit the comma key and it would bring it down here and it would bring this footage down to the timeline. So now you have this and this together, or you can just click on the video and see the hand symbol and just bring it down here and then drag and drop, you know, wherever it is that you want to put it. Okay. And then I'll have a future video uh, here coming soon that kind of goes over the shortcuts that you would need to edit and be faster when using Premiere Pro. So now that we have, uh, you know what the, where the file organizer thing is right here, and then you know that you can preview the file before you actually put it into the timeline, and you know that this, anything that you see on this screen is gonna be in your timeline. The next thing that you would need to know uh, is this tab down here at the bottom left. So you have the info tab that kind of will tell you like what you're looking at, this clip right here, if I select it, It'll tell me that I shot it at 59 frames a second. It'll tell me the audio is at 48,000, yada, 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 and so forth. Then you have the, the tab for effects where you can go in here and do transitions, fade in, fade out, stuff like that. Uh, markers, we don't have any markers set. Um, in history, this will kind of go over what I've done in the project. Um, and if you wanted to check out you know, different parts of your history that you've done. Let's see, oh, and then I also have a media browser. This media browser is kind of like the same thing as this up here. Um, you can come down here and you can click a hard drive or click a folder and, you know, sort through and find whatever it is that you're looking for. 
And then um, to be more specific about the timeline itself, because this is probably, the, well, it is the most important thing in Premiere for me um, and probably most of you, is that you have different keys here. And like I said, I'm going to go through shortcuts later. But um, one good thing to know is that if your footage ever just disappears on you, it's probably because this eyeball is clicked, which will hide anything that's on this timeline right here. So if I was to click on this and bring it up, and I took the eye out on the V1 for video one, video two is still showing because the eye isn't blocked out. Okay. Um, another thing too up here in the preview window before you put it into your timeline is you have effects and controls. Uh, so if I was to click on a clip, um, I can click on the effects control tabs and that gives me options for opacity if I want to do fade in and fade outs. And, you know, if I wanted to add motions, a little bit of animation, or if I wanted to scale the video up, uh, we can scale this video actually, oh, this video right here, we can scale it way up or we can scale it way out. It's just those, those are where the fine tuned settings are for opacity, rotation, and, uh, all, you know, all the basic uh, editing stuff right there. Let me click back to 100 on that. And so for the most part, this is pretty much what Premiere Pro is. Um, nothing too crazy, like I said. It's overwhelming when you first enter it, but it's it's broken down into like what three to five no five things, you know. So you, you put a you put your file in, you double click the file, and you can preview it. If you don't like it, find another file. If you like that, and then you drag it into the timeline down here, and then whatever you see down here on the timeline is what you see up at the top right. Which when you export, that's what you'll see. So that's pretty much the basic of the basic. Um, I can go into more detail on specific things if you're looking for something more specific. Um, I guess another thing I could tell you is to save a project, you go up here to file and then just click on save or you can save as to make this project go somewhere else. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, I'm assuming you guys watched my previous video right here where it tells you how to create a project and how to file it somewhere so that you don't lose it or don't you know lose your progress on your editing so my name is doug we're always on board and if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment or uh, message me and i uh, hope you guys enjoy the video take care